Let me go ahead and open up the rest of these. Let's see what they are like. Ooh. It stinks. But that's okay because I'm going to wash it. And if you think about it, like this hair has probably been like in a factory somewhere. So, so it's going to come to about right here for me. Which is pretty long. That's pretty long for me because I never do like weave anyway. Especially black hair. Clearly my hair is blonde. So this is thicker. Thicker than the um, 20. And this is the... 16 so also pretty long and soft as well it has like a reddish brown reddish tint but I want mine to I think I want mine to be black wow look at that that's a nice bundle and this one is also soft this one feels really thick and this also has like the same kind of tint. So as of right now, I would say I'm I'm um, impressed for the most part, except for the closure. But we're gonna work that out. We have to. But I really think um you know like it's it's gonna work out. The bundles are nice and soft and thick. I'm gonna wash them and come back and let you guys know what I think. Okay, guys. So this is the hair after I washed it, dyed it, washed it, and let it air dry and. If you can't tell, the hair was really matted and just unmanageable. Like, I was really surprised being as though when I pulled it out of the package, it was really soft and silky and all that. So, I tried to brush the hair out and I started making the wig. But to me, it still just looked thick and, you know, like, uh, I don't even, I don't even know, like, I didn't like it. To me, it just looked like something that I don't want to wear. I don't even like, this is not a good representation of me. This is not what I was expecting or anything. So then I straightened the hair and this is what it looks like. It's really thick at the top, but then once you get to the bottom, it really thins out really bad. Like the ends are really, really thin and just spread out, but much more manageable than what it was before. So I figure I just had to work with this. Hey guys, so really quick, I know it's been a long time since I have been in this seat in front of this camera. Um, today is December 4th and graduation is in five days. So I've been really busy with that and exams and you know, like everything just preparing for graduation, moving out of this apartment, um, new job. Um, everything but I did just want to give you all a review I actually unboxed this hair um, less than a month ago I bought it I would say maybe like two two to three weeks ago I bought the hair I bought the hair it wasn't it, it was sent to me but it wasn't you know like a sponsorship so I bought the hair and um, initially I let them know you know like I've heard really good things about the lady's name is Amy so I let her know she's like I don't know which what her position is called, but she's like the spokesperson for um, the company Miss Hair Hair. So I let her know, you know, I've seen really good things about this um, hair. Kayla Cake actually did a good review on this hair, so I was like, yeah, I'm about to order it right now. Um, she was saying like how good the prices were, and I agreed. I paid 123 dollars for um, a 20, an 18, a 16, a 14. And I think it's 12 inch closure. Um, so this is that's what I have. So when I took out the box, I will um, you know like add those clips of the unboxing in it to you. I won't do a separate video. I'll just add it to this one. But um, the hair had a smell to it. It was older. I don't. I forgot what it smelled like. But it definitely wasn't unprocessed. Um, I don't think the hair is raw. Uh, I think this is. Peruvian I'm pretty sure I don't think it's raw Peruvian hair um, I actually I don't even think it's, it's virgin hair like I said it's definitely been processed in some kind of way um, when I when I washed it I didn't uh, well first I um, I colored it so yeah it took pretty well to the color it came like brown um, dark dark brown but I dyed it black 
So this is what it looks like. And I think on camera the hair looks pretty shiny, which I can attest to. It is shiny, but this hair is so thick and it sheds so much. Like when I tell you that right, like what I'm looking at right now is not like when I see I've seen other reviews and the hair just looks so silky and granted it might be a different texture that they have, but the hair just looks so silky and pressed down and like when you flip it it's just you know like flowy this looks like a damn bird's nest to me and i'm just like i bought this hair for graduation if you think about the wear this for graduation like this granted i did put some curls i don't know if you can see at the bottom and they came out nice so i'm just like maybe i just need to manipulate the hair to get it to do what i want it to do but fresh out the box after you wash it like this blank is it was matted it was tangled i was like well maybe this you know like i don't know so i reached out to amy and first she was like really helpful she was like yeah i'm sorry for getting back to you so late um we have a delay i think they have like a 13 hour delay so when it's um nine o'clock a.m here i'm in north carolina then it's um 10 o'clock p.m there so when i was like waking up and emailing her i guess she was like asleep or going to sleep and not able to email me back which was fine for me so i was just telling her i sent her pictures of the hair and i was like yeah the hair is matted i don't like it it's not what it looks like in your pictures and then um at first she was like really cool she was like well send me pictures of it i'll show my boss i'm gonna try to resolve this for you sweetie honey boo boo all of these different words like look at this i'm running my hair through it now and it's shedding but anyways, yeah, she was, like, really helpful at first. Then I sent her the pictures, and, you know, like, it started taking her longer and longer to respond. She just kept, like, giving me the run around, saying, like, yeah, I'm going to help you. No worries. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show my boss. And then eventually she started getting a little, I'm just like, okay, so what did he say? You know, like, where's my resolution? If you're not going to get my money back, just give me some new hair. And then she started, you know, like, right, getting a little... I don't even know like well she didn't curse at me because she just was like yeah that's not our hair i'm like well who hair is it then i don't even order hair like that i don't even wear weave like that so what do you mean this is not your hair number one number two she just like well our hair doesn't look like that baby yes it does this is the hair that you sent me and it does look like that well like i don't know she was like well um you must be trying to you, you must be trying to scam us. Is it, is it that you just want your money back and you trying to blackmail us? I'm like, blackmail you for what, boo-boo? It, it's not, I paid $123 for four bundles and a closure. If I wanted to blackmail somebody, I would black, you know, first of all, that's not even in my character. I have a job. I have this YouTube. I have, like, several other endeavors that I get money from. Not to brag, but, like, blackmail you for what? Don't. Y'all want to tell you this made me so mad when she said that. Let me get my phone to tell y'all. I'm trying to pull the messages up. Another thing that I would say to be worried about always when a company asks or says that they will give you um, some of your money back or a discount when you give them a positive review. So they're not asking for your true feelings. They're trying to, you the scammer. You the scammer if anything because you're trying to scam people to get, you know, like, provide i won't say false but give them an incentive to give you a good review even if they didn't so you're gonna give me 10 20 dollars back just you know like for the sole fact that i went on your aliexpress site and said that you had good hair shipping was fast all of the good stuff that you know like people want to see or miss here hair has 95.3 positive feedback that's because they ask people to give them they pay people for those reviews so I asked for my money back and she just was giving me such a hard time so I just was like, I'm just about to file a dispute with AliExpress and tell them that this vendor is giving me a hard time and not satisfied with the product that they sent me and I want my money back. So I did that and she was like, why did you file a, why did you file a dispute, cancel the dispute, if I would have canceled the dispute, I never would have got my money back. So I would just say, I feel like I can you know, like work with his hair, like I said, manipulate it, blow dry the hell out of it to get it to what I wanted to do, curl it, just for the fact that it's too, graduation is in five days, like I said, I don't know where I'm going to get some hair from for a reasonable price, reasonable price, and that's good quality in such a short amount of time. So do your research. I will say to this company, they did send me the hair really, really fast. I got it in less than a week. 
now it's just kind of matted and tangled and um it's shiny but it sheds like a whole whole lot um now like i said it might just be the oh yeah another thing she said is well you order 6 a, 6a grade hair i'm just like that don't mean it should look like crap 6a 7a 8a i don't care like it shouldn't look like that especially since the pictures that you have online which you probably stole don't look like that so in regards to when people say do youtubers get better hair like i said like i could have easily reached out to your company and said hey i'm a youtuber i can guarantee this amount of views for your company um can you send me some hair to review no i didn't do that i ordered it with my own money and i wanted to wear this hair for graduation granted i still probably was going to review it just for you know like my own sake but um this isn't something that i just do for a living like go around and try to scam hair companies for free hair just to turn around and say that I want my money back like that would have been pointless I could have just asked you for the hair to review you probably have 50 50 chance of what kind of hair you're gonna get with this company what kind of service you're gonna get with this company I see a lot of youtubers saying like this hair is really good and then I see some youtubers saying um, you know like it was good at first but now it's not so good it's matted it's stiff it's this that and the third so if of course like if you want to go and do your research and check out this company then by all means go ahead but if it was me I, if i had the chance to do it again i would definitely probably go with um i don't even know i don't even order off aliexpress like that so um yeah i just wanted to <laughs> bring you guys um you know like i think no it's not my tell you guys what I thought about this hair um, I probably do a final review after I actually wear it for graduation if I choose to I don't know I'll let you guys know how things go with it but yeah first impressions unboxing this is what I think about in my true honest opinion and let me know in the comments down below um, if you guys have had any issues or things that I could have done wrong I might try boiling it I've seen that um, some places but yeah I'm going to go ahead and end this here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. All you got to do is hit that red button down there, and um, yeah, pray for me because I'm getting ready for graduation. I've just been under so much stress, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs>